If the followers of Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee is not arguing with me about the history that I'm now making because they are now followers of Jesus Christ, then what history is the followers of Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee making while they following Jesus Christ? If they are now undermining the history that I'm making as Tommy Chancey Council Senior, after I was then attacked mentally, right? So if my enemy had moved me mentally, then wouldn't my enemy then be then um use me physically to harm myself? Now I done been put by the state of Florida by and my family in a mental hospital six times, right? So now when do is do the seventh time day rest? Right? So if you done tried to build a case against me mentally six times, so wouldn't that be creation? Wouldn't that be the end of creation? Now you done created on the sixth day, on the sixth time of your attack of me mentally. Now look at all these people you done created. See, because now you can't afford the truth because of the lie. And now I'm a victim of your inability to tell the truth. Now, if the Bible says that the, the, that the devil's children can't tell the truth because their father is a liar and a murderer from the beginning, then how are you following Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee? See how? See, Jesus did exactly what I'm doing, and he said in order to follow him, you would have to do it. See, you would have to give up all of your riches, right? And give it to the poor. But I'm saying, if monetary wealth is riches, then what is divine knowledge if it's not wealth? See, I'm saying, I don't know, right? Because your preachers take what Jesus said was Caesar's. So Jesus spoke the name of Caesar out of his mouth. Now you tell me when Caesar spoke Jesus' name. Now I can show you where the governor of Jerusalem spoke Jesus' name and he spoke to Jesus personally. Now that was not Caesar. That was the governor of Caesar's providence, right? Now, I can show you in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida, where I brought the governors, not one governor, see, because it's over 15 years, but I done brought from Jeb Bush to Ron DeSantis to court, to, to, to stand before me and give me back my rights. Now that's the governors, that's the that's a chain of Pontius Pilots. <laughs> then I called Caesar, for whom if Jesus was me, he'd have had to send a a a, 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 a mental message. 1434 miles and hit Caesar right in the understanding and have Caesar then send that same mental message to Pontius Pilate and say, don't touch him. But that didn't happen, right? But I can show you by affidavit that I sent to Donald, to Donald John Trump <laughs> and made him come to to the in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida and answer me on on February 20th in 2018 at 9:20 in the morning and I can show you where his federal judges started lying just like Pontius Pilate cuz they was afraid of the people see they ain't afraid of God man 
they afraid of y'all, see, because they know in order for them to get to carry out their deceitful stuff, see, they need the masses to go get Jesus. Read it. They they paid Judas 30 pieces of silver. Now, this not Rome. See, this why Rome ain't got nothing to do with the crucifixion of Jesus. Man, you can read the story. It was Judas, an inside man. See, that's why I want to find out who my Judas is. But see, now y'all, oh, he want to kill everybody. I'm saying, how? I'm in court separating the sheep from the goats. See, either you believe in the Bible or you don't. If I'm in court and, and I was a plaintiff on October 4th, 2007, Bill Hurd Chevrolet stole my car in 2006. So I bought that car and I think it was July 2006 because it was after I had finally finished building the house. I was rich. I went and, and bought my dream car and I had found it one morning. My daughter and I, I had already, I went to go buy because I thought I couldn't find it. I went and bought a brand. I had ordered it, a 2008 Corvette. I ordered it, put $2,000 down on it. I was fitted by my, I was saying, well, I couldn't get what I wanted. So I went and I'm taking my daughter to school and saw the Corvette. I saw it. I went, called the number, thinking that the dude wasn't in there because it was like six something in the morning. The dude answered the phone. I'm like, what? He said, yeah, I'm here now. I said, you you there? I, he said, yeah. I said, man, I want the Corvette. He said, he said well, what you got? I said, I offered 10000 He said, man, well, they just turned that down. I said, all right, man, I'm offering 10000 and he said, well, man, if you guys, you know, put something down on it, you come back. I said, no, I'm right down the street. I turned around. I had $100 in my pocket. I gave him the $100. We signed a contract. By, by, by 12 o'clock, man, that day, man, he said, man, I don't know, man. He said, but, bro, they accepted the 10000 Man, I got my daddy, went to the bank, got $10,000, came and paid the people. Off the line that the bank closed. See, so that's why I saw it as a blessing. I saw it as like, man, they stole my gift to myself, right? They stole my dream. And now I get to bring my purpose and, and manifest it that I wanted to save my people. And I wanted to be a lawyer. See, that's what I kept saying. It was a perfect storm, man, until my people got involved. See, and, and they 180 degree understanding, they destroyed 15 years of grace and mercy based on what? Belief in, in a story. But what about the story I'm writing? What You see, because now you are who you are. You played yourself in this passion of Christ. See, I couldn't feel the pain I felt without the people that cared about hurting me. See, because the, 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 the strategy was one way I was saving my loved ones and destroying my enemy. And that's why I'm, I'm telling my people, I kept telling y'all, I'm like, hey man, bro, I don't know what y'all gonna do, man. Man, they fit to see y'all, man, and I had to see y'all first. So I know why Jesus wept, man, because I seen y'all celebrating my fall. And I kept telling y'all, man, I'm not falling. Man, you think you Jesus. And I'm saying, how do you think you somebody? Like, I mean, could you please tell me how I think I'm somebody else? Like, wouldn't you have to think that I think I'm somebody else to even say something like that? Like, here I am. I'm saying, hey, man, I'm in court. These people done took my house. Man, you think you Jesus. And, and, and you like, where did that come from? Like, how I think I'm, so that's show you the devil in them, man. That's hatred to see a man struggling and then to then say he think he's somebody else. And now I got to go to court on January 27th in 2023 at 8.30 in the morning and let these people say that I'm mentally incompetent.
but they believe in Jesus, but they ain't on trial. And I can't say that these people said that I think I'm Jesus. And then they put me in a mental hospital and they kept going to church praying for me. <laughs> uh, you to put me in a mental hospital, you go to church praying for me. But you never listen to me. So what are you praying to God for on my behalf when you letting the crime happen in the name of Jesus? And then you saying why I'm a non-believer. I'm looking at you of belief. I'm saying, see, when I was in church, they wasn't helping me become me. They was telling me that it was no need for me. But I'm in court because it was a need for me. But I could have been selfish because I needed me. But I also saw that other people needed me as well. So I became a case so that they could reference me in the place where referencing me would then save them.